All right. Because there's just so much on this topic, I wanted to just take a moment and really break down carb caps by themselves. For starters, there is no best carb cap. A lot of people ask me, what is the best? What's the most OP setup? Like all this stuff. Really, it's what you're looking for. You need to think about the way you like to experience, how your lungs work, and really what you need out of your device. So I'm going to start at kind of the beginning and we're going to go through to where I ended up and why I choose what I choose and some of the differences. At the beginning, you have the regular old Oculus cap. While this is a good lazy cap that requires no work after you load it up, a couple downsides it's very restrictive it gets kind of gunked up in there and it's a singular experience it's uh yeah it just i like that that's where it started and for a beginning user it's really easy to learn but i quickly moved away from this then for a lot of us especially when we start using third-party tops or different tops we look for a little more airflow and they brought that in the pro ball cap and this is another good experience I, there aren't any of these where i was like wow this was was really garbage they serve a purpose and for different type of use case scenarios they all have their benefits with the pro ball cap they opened up the airflow just a little bit and made it so it's typical to a quartz banger with a unidirectional flow ball cap. The downside to this is that when it gets a little kickback and some of the reclaim gets up here, this tends to get locked up and stuck and isn't a smooth experience anymore. And also with pearls, it works, but it doesn't really auto spin them like the Oculus does. Then I tried upgrading the pro ball cap to a spinner ball cap by Bradley Miller that has the carb on top so you could feather the airport and it did did spin pearls it has kind of a twisted design through the directional flow here but still because it locked up in the grommet a lot it left a lot to be desired as far as experience goes with this typical just regular unidirectional ball cap that sits on top great airflow and is a uh, much closer to a quartz banger experience however for on the go this just wasn't really that great because it didn't lock onto the chamber and you really had to just hold it on there all of the time then before the v2 came out i did upgrade to a one trick pony cap lots of airflow and somewhat similar to the oculus in the way that it auto spins pearls but it does it more so and spins them really fast the one downside to this one is if it has an opal on top it does make it a little heavy he does make flat ones one. So if you're going to use your Puffco on the go a lot, I suggest getting a flat one. If not, and you're using it at home, these ones are absolutely gorgeous and are an amazing experience on the Puffco Pro. Then they came out with the V2 joystick, which was a great on the go experience. They opened up the airflow a lot by putting in four air intakes, which makes this a really free flowing piece and then a lot more airflow. The other thing they improved is that it doesn't lock up like the pro ball cap anymore because it's silicone moving instead of glass trying to glide inside of silicone. One of the biggest downsides I've noticed so far after using it is it does get really mucked up in this area. And if you try and remove this out while it's cold, you run an extreme risk of ripping the silicone if it's stuck with concentrates on there. Other than that, I really haven't had any downsides other than it doesn't auto spin pearls at all. But what's weird is my taco dabs pearl, the turbine one does auto spin with this one, which is kind of fun. And that wraps it up for just the general overview of carb caps. And for what it's worth, Moo's pick of the litter is going to be a one trick pony. And as always, stay lifted. Ah. Uh -huh.